So we're looking at actress and best supporting actress. And to me, this is two great categories with a lot. It's, this one's really difficult for me because I think there's a lot here that can be celebrated in these performances. For actress, you know, for me, it's Natalie Portman versus Emma Stone. Emma Stone's performance in La La Land, to me, it's a little mixed, but at the same time, it comes out very strong. And I think that um, the way she played that role and the way La La Land kind of circles back to the musical aspects, it's interesting because La La Land starts as a straight up musical and then it kind of goes away and then comes back in the third act with this amazing solo from Emma Stone that just like, it got me in the feels. And mm -hmm. so uh, even though Natalie Portman was in one of those roles, those historical roles, people love the, the biographical you know, performances and she does a great job in Jackie. It's a very strong performance and I love Natalie Portman. Um, I just, I feel like they're gonna go with Emma Stone in, in Best Actress. I hadn't thought as much about Natalie Portman here for whatever reason. Uh, I think if, if Emma Stone takes this category, I think that will tell us a lot about the ceremony overall and La La Land's uh, propensity for a La La Land slide. <laughs> Very uh, nice. Because uh, I think, you know, it, it is a powerful performance, but if you look at a couple of the other performances in this category that maybe are a bit less escapist, a bit less solipsistic and narcissistic in terms of Hollywood looking at itself, um, this might be a, an Oscars that needs to be about the issues. Um, and so I'm wondering then if we don't see, for example, Isabelle Huppert, who uh, won at the Golden Globes in this category for Elle. Um, that is a powerhouse of a film. It's a divisive film. It's a challenging film. That's my dark horse in this category. But I guess if I was betting money, I would probably bet on Emma Stone. I can see that happening. In supporting actress, uh, for me, it's Viola Davis. Um, Fences, it's, it's, Fences is, is theatrical in nature. It comes from a play, a, a, a very um, well-loved play. And the nature of theater gives actors a lot to work with and she does it wonderfully. And it really unfolds, that performance in that film uh, really, really unfolds over the, the length of the film. And to me, it just, once again, it's just a, a powerhouse of a performance. And it's a repeat of the Golden Globe, which sometimes mm -hmm. is an indication in this category. Right, yeah. Viola Davis has been there before. Uh, so has Octavia Spencer. And I think there's a lot of momentum around hidden figures right now as well. Um, so I'm actually thinking that it's gonna be Octavia Spencer, but uh, don't count out Naomi Harris for Moonlight because her performance is one of the most searing on the list across the board, male or female, this year. Absolutely.